the best thing about the MOST program are the students. We have an amazing cohort of students with a very diverse background, not only academically but culturally. So it's very exciting to see them uh, develop um, throughout the program. As a student in the DMD PhD program, we have the opportunity to have mentors not only within the clinic and within our research labs, but outside of the building. I personally research in a lab outside of the College of Dentistry, and I'm able to collaborate with my mentor, who is also my the private investigator of our lab, and he uh, is in the College of Pharmacy. And so we have opportunities to cross collaborate um, and to receive mentorship from both uh, clinicians and scientists. One of the main opportunities to incorporate research is before your D1 year starts. So um, as an incoming D1, you can enroll in the MOST program, and that pairs you with a faculty mentor. Um, and that integrated me into research with Dr. David Reed, and uh, he integrated me into a project involving degenerative joint disease of the mandibular condylar cartilage. Um, and that's quite important because roughly 30% of um, all TMJ disorders are due to arthritic degeneration of the condylar cartilage. So that means that translates to roughly four to five million Americans that have this pathological condition. So the MOST program has provided a lot of flexibility for me to train in different departments, including the College of Medicine, where I receive my training from Dr. Kali on um, glycosylation related projects. Also provided with the opportunity to teach in the Applied Health Sciences Department on wound healing and tissue regeneration, in addition to the projects that I have here in the College of Dentistry working with Dr. DiPietro on examining changes in wound healing between different organ systems as well as in different um, chronic disease conditions. I'm working that closely with faculty um, especially in this field, it gives you more hands-on experience. Um, they're great mentors. They want to help you get where you want to go. Depending on the mentor, depending on the PI, it might be a, um, an individual project, so you'll come up with a project on your own accord and then um, do all the necessary data collection, do a write-up, and then present a poster at Clinic and Research Day. Or you could be integrated into an ongoing project um, that the PI is currently conducting, and then that as well manifests in a, in a poster or an abstract or a paper that you can present at one of the numerous dental conferences or um, at Clinic and Research Day here at the college. So as a dentist, we no doubt we'll be able to help our patients by treating them and diagnosing their problems. But our reach is only limited to those patients that we personally encounter. But as a scientist, you have the opportunity to research and find solutions to novel problems in healthcare. And that can extend to people beyond your reach and will be there long after you're gone. So I think it has the opportunity to impact lives beyond the people that you see in the clinic.